Hello and welcome to a quick how-to guide on adding effects to your Jamulus input by using black hole and waveform. So it's all about taming your input and sweetening it. So if you're going raw straight into your computer, then you might want just to have a bit more choice about how you sound. Basic routing is that you have a microphone or an instrument that you're plugging into your sound interface. On a Mac that could be directly into your 3.5 millimeter stereo jack input on the side of the MacBook for example, or it could be that you have a particular USB microphone that just plugs straight into USB, or if you've got a little box that you plug into a USB and then plug your microphone into, it's a microphone going into a computer and then the computer sends the signal it receives from that microphone directly to Jamulus. In an analogue world I'm sure you might have already had a case where you've plugged your microphone into a mixing desk or a box, of an effects box or something, that would change your sound before it goes to a live PA um, and in the computing world it's no different you could have an effects box or mixer that you plug your microphone into or even sometimes a sound interface that will also connect to USB on your computer and that will alter the sound for you before it gets to your computer there there's one example uh, the TC Helicon Perform V where the advantage is that you have a hardware device in front of you that you can use while you're performing you've got knobs and buttons that you can use to change the sound without having to worry about what your computer's doing. However, if you don't want to invest in that kind of hardware, have no fear, you can use your computer to add the effects and to tame your sound. The microphone still goes into the computer, but the computer is now running Black Hole if it's a Mac. Black Hole is just a audio driver, if you like. It's just a piece of software that will allow you to stop the audio from going straight into Jamulus, but that you will be able to use the Black Hole device or the Black Hole software to go into your digital audio workstation. In my example here I'm using Traction Waveform because it's good and because it's free. And in Traction Waveform we can then alter the sound before we send it to Jamulus. So how does that all work? The first thing we need to do is to install Black Hole. So if we go to existential.audio slash black hole and I'll give you these links all in the description below then you just add your email address and name and you can subscribe to get a free download for Mac. There is a Windows link, but Black Hole's not available for Windows yet. You install it, I think you have to reboot. It's just a simple piece of software, it runs on Catalina, also on previous Mac OS versions, I expect. So just install that, and when you have it installed, if you click on your little volume icon in the top here, you should see it says Black Hole 16 channel as part of the menu options. Then you want to install Waveform Free. That's from a company called Traction. They make digital audio workstation software. And this Waveform Free is fully featured and you can download it completely for free. It comes with a number of effects. I'm going to recommend a couple of other free plugins that I use. And you can really use it for all sorts of things. So get hold of that and install that. And then finally, I'm assuming you might already have Jamulus because that's why you're here. Um, but Jamulus is a piece of software that allows you to play music with people over the internet all around the world and the latency is good enough that for somebody who is reasonably close to you and by reasonably close I mean within 2,000 kilometers of where you are then you can use it so get hold of Jamus if you don't have it already that's all the software we need so let's jump right in and see how we set it all up now there isn't anything particular to set up for Black Hole, so what we're looking at here now is Waveform. If I just open it out a little bit more, this is roughly what it looks like when you first installed it. Now there might be a column on the left that gives you other ideas and how to get started. The most important thing is just to go on the little settings tab here and click on audio devices. And what you want to make sure is your output is going to Black Hole, which uh, we've already installed and the input you want to choose your sound device. Now my sound device is called H6. It's a Zoom H6, it's got six inputs on it. You might have a Focusrite, you might have a Behringer, you might have one of any other manufacturers, or it might be your USB microphone name there if you've just got one of those. Make sure you choose it, and as you, when, as you can see, as I talk to you, these little lights are moving, so we know that's working. And make sure you have something looking a bit like this. So for your input, which is at the bottom, you've got all your different inputs enabled. And for output, you only need output one and two enabled on the black hole. You can go and click more if you want. You might find other ways of using them, but we're trying to keep this simple. So just have output one and two enabled is all we need. Then what we do is we can go back to the projects tab and there's a little plus here and we're going to click it and create a new project. We can call the new project whatever we want. I'm just going to call it Jamulus 2. I tried this earlier. Create project. 
and we've got a little project Jamulus 2 here and we'll see straight away here there's a little edit here called Jamulus 2 edit 1 which is already all opened on the tab here so I'm just going to click that and you'll see it's automatically set up with the default settings eight tracks for us we're not going to need to all use all those eight but let's not worry too much about that what we want to do is we want to click on this blue eye icon just here and these are the different screen setups we can have and I'm going to click on this bar here this darkened bar here which looks which is the mixer you can see when I click it lighting up there we go and that's where we've got uh, a mixer which looks perhaps a bit more familiar like mixers if you've used analog mixers in the past and then we're going to click on this little double window kind of icon here at the top of the mixer or top right of the mixer area so that we can see it all in one screen so there's our mixer screen now all we're going to worry about really is track one the other tracks could be used if you've got multiple inputs for different instruments so that you can mix them all before they go to Jamulus. But for the moment, we just want track one. The important thing to do is to look at these blue or grey icons here. We want to click on this one here, which allows us to see the input. So when I click it, you'll see them appear up here. And for track one, we now want to click right button and we want to choose an input now these are the inputs from my h6 you might have less than six you might have just two you might have just one but in any case pick the input that's relevant for you now i know it's input five on my device and you can see the meters are now dancing around in line with what i'm saying and now the other thing we want to do is we want to make sure that this track is armed to record so i'll click on it so it should now go red now it doesn't always work entirely but it is now active and we can check that later anyway because what we're going to do now is open Jamulus. So here's Jamulus. I'll try and keep it reasonably close where we can see it. Uh, let me just arrange these just slightly differently so we can keep it possibly in view all the time more or less. Yes that will do. I need to go and connect to a server in order to see if this is now working. Now important thing here if I click on settings for Jamulus I need to change my device here to be black hole 16 on the input and on the output I need my sound card which is H6 as we've already said so input needs to be black hole and output needs to be whatever your sound card is that you want to hear from channel mapping we can leave alone just channel 1 channel 2 channel 1 channel 2 and any other settings here there's plenty of other information online or come and get us on the Jamulus World Jam Facebook group and we can help you out with what all these things mean so I can close the settings now and if I now try and connect to a server so I'm just going to go and pick one then you can now see the meters jumping around as I speak so the signal from my microphone is now going through track one and into Jamulus if I want to make sure of what the output is I have a little icon here default if I click on that I can actually choose output one and two just to be sure that I know what I'm doing so now I'm going to change the sound on this video so you're actually hearing exactly the same sound that is going into Jamulus. There's a reason for that because we're now going to manipulate that sound um, to tame it, to make it sweeter or whatever we want. So if I want to now add, say, an effect here, one of the most obvious ones is reverb. Now I have downloaded Tal Reverb, so I click and pick that, and as you can hear, it has now activated itself. A recommendation when you're singing for reverb is to keep it quite subtle. So I would usually use crystal clear, which is a preset that comes with Tal Reverb, and the wet can be really as low as say 10, maybe 15, 20, depending on what you know when you're singing. And you can change the size, so very small room, very big room lots of echo and a lot less depending on whether you're doing something intimate maybe or if you want to sound more like you're in a big concert hall so tal reverb completely free very good little reverb plugin and i'll just turn the size and the wet up a little bit just for the demonstration while there's a box around your effect once it's collected you can hear it and if you press f on your keyboard it will go away and the light will go off there's another plugin i'd like to recommend to tame your voice a little bit and that's EQ. There's a free EQ called TDR Nova which I highly recommend and here's what I suggest you do with that. First thing a high pass filter that's going to get rid of the low in your voice. Now I'm going to move that right up to around about 80 hertz. Okay so high pass filter on about 80 hertz 
If we want to see what the EQ is doing, we can click on out here and we can see it dancing around as my voice is going. So a high pass filter at 80 hertz is not going to make a big difference, but it's going to take just a bit of the low end off, leaving room for a bass guitar and a bass drum. Then I'd usually put a little bit notch around about 250 with quite a high Q. So just move that frequency around to about there, just a little bit of a notch in there. Sometimes there's some nasty noise around there, you can see. And then if we want to just sweeten the high end around about 4,000, 4.5 kilohertz, just have a little bit of a gain boost or maybe go up 1.5 dB or something like that, just to make the voice a bit crisper. And then the final thing I'd always do to my signal chain is add a compressor. So again, here I've got another one I'm going to recommend for you. It's called Rough Rider 3. Here's Rough Rider 3. It's got a couple of presets on it. There's one I quite like, which is called just a bit off the top. So I'm going to set that, click on close. You can see the presets just a bit off the top. Turn the sensitivity down to around about 20, 21. And turn the makeup down a little bit because it tends to make it too loud. Attack, I would turn up a bit. You can just use the preset, you can play with these. I'm not here to tell you how to use a compressor, but there's a setting that I find quite good, probably put the release quite much, much lower down as well like that. And that's gonna keep control of my voice if I get too loud, it's like an automatic volume control that's just gonna bring my voice down. There's my compressor. And so I've got EQ compressor and I've also got reverb. If I reactivate it, now you can hear there's quite a lot of power in my voice and the echo's too much, but maybe for certain singing styles, that would be quite good. That's really all there is to it. If this video has been useful to you, do let me know in the comments. I put all the links in the description to the different pieces of software and plugins, and do have fun using Jamulus and catch up with us on Jamulus World Jam on Facebook.